the ninth annual Let Me Play Luncheon fundraiser for women's athletics. And, uh, you know, I, it's funny, in some of the things they've said about me, they said it was my brainchild. I stole the idea from a conference that I attended, a National Athletic Directors Conference Roundtable, and the University of Santa Clara was presenting that they did this luncheon. Now, ours is a little different. They're private schools, so the school paid for the luncheon. And I'm like, oh, we're a state school, can't do that. We have to get a sponsor. But I came back from that meeting nine years ago in June and said, we're gonna do this. And I said it in June and we had it in November that year. And our staff was going, we're gonna do it when? And the first one, we I think we made $60,000 profit. And since, since then, it's just escalated. So our goal today is to net $100,000 and we wanna blow that out of the water. Uh, so it's just great to have this many people focusing on women's sports and, and all of the characteristics and qualities that sports provide for a young woman. This luncheon is to raise money for uh, specifically for women's athletics. Uh, so that's near and dear to me since uh, uh, women's volleyball. Uh, it's a great event. Uh, this is my sixth year coming to it. Uh, I think it's a very positive atmosphere. Um, it, and it, it kind of reaches all, all generations from young kids to uh, uh, women who have been through athletics and been through uh, the business world and, and all different things in it. It just talks about uh, you know sport and self-esteem and, and all the positive things that come out of it that, that build into future leaders. So it's a great event. Uh, I enjoy coming to it, and, and I enjoy supporting it also. I am truly a product of Title IX, because when I came through, the law was passed in 1972. And this is the 40th anniversary of Title IX. And, uh, but people really didn't start implementing it until about the next decade, until about the 1980s. But I got hired because they had to hire, the, they were gonna lose federal aid at universities if they didn't start women's programs. So I was the first women's basketball coach at Charlotte because they had to start the program. And then I've been very fortunate to be at a school that is very progressive and that would allow me the opportunity because we haven't had but about 3% growth in uh, uh, athletic directors being female. Uh, so a ways to go in that one on Title IX. I really like the fact that uh, Judy Rose in the athletic department uh, make, makes a concerted effort to support women's athletics and uh, that's why this event is so special and, and so neat. Uh, and I've been all around the country, you don't see it in a lot of places.